As 2021 comes to a close, we're looking back at our biggest stories of the year. Our website manager, Felicity Bosk, joins us in studio to break down what stories our viewers read the most. Thanks, Shannon. I sifted through our most read stories of the year, and our very most read story was a You Ask, We Answer I reported on back in November. We received a lot of viewer questions wondering what is being built by Woodman's? The answer, a multi-tenant building that is expected to include a Starbucks. Officials with the city of Altoona say construction should wrap up in the spring or summer of 2022. And when it came to sports, what can we say other than go pack go? Nearly a year ago in January 2021, Nick Tabbert reported that the Packers were inviting 6,000 season ticket holders into Lambeau Field for the divisional playoff game. At the time, fans had not been allowed into the stadium all season. One of our biggest goals at News 18 is to bring you breaking news as it happens. And the breaking news story that was the most read came in September. Multiple people had been found dead in a car in the rural Dunn County town of Sheridan. Since that night, we have learned their identities and arrests have been made. But that September night, law enforcement was asking nearby residents to be vigilant, lock their doors, and to contact them if they may have seen anything. Continuing our coronavirus coverage tonight, our most read COVID story was one reported on in November. On November 14th, we reported that the Menominee School District would be canceling all classes during Thanksgiving week because of a sharp rise in COVID-19 cases. The superintendent saying the high case rate was not only causing students but staff to isolate and encourage people to apply for open substitute positions. And in 2021, News 18 was digging deeper. A study shows that Claremont Avenue had nearly 1,250 reported crashes over a five-year period. That averages to 21 crashes a month, which is why city officials consider it the most dangerous road in Eau Claire. And for all of the up-to-the-minute stories brought to you from Storm Tracker 18, it may be surprising which weather story was read more than any other this year. It was from a forecast last January by meteorologist Justin Esterly, who was saying a freezing mix would later turn to snow that week. Let's end on a positively Chippewa Valley note. With this, I just hope to put Wisconsin on the map for, you know, as kind of like a culinary destination per se. Chippewa Falls resident Blake Sikora competed and won a national cooking competition with his recipe for a Wisconsin cheesesteak back in October. It's been an exciting year here in the Chippewa Valley, and we hope you stick with News 18 for all the biggest news stories of 2022. All right, thanks, Felicity. We also have a list of the top most read stories of the year on our website, wqow.com.